Hello everyone. I want to talk about something. Um many of us not many of us, but many people may want to get married. So what is popular now is online dating. So you may go online to find in the effort of finding a wife or finding a husband. And you have to be very, very careful when you are trying to choose a husband or a wife online. I truly believe there are many predators, people who may want to take advantage of you. And I think one red flag is when they begin asking you for money. I don't think it is wrong to want to help someone. I don't believe it is wrong, but I believe what is happening in this day of age, I truly believe there are so many scammers out there. So if you are trying to be with someone and you can see that they are asking for money a bit too much or like somehow they are getting into so much trouble so often you may have to ask yourself like is this normal for the average person does the average person get into so much trouble like this like you may give that person the benefit of the doubt but also you have to think in like a logical way. Like does anyone get into so much trouble so often? Possibly that person is probably scamming you or trying to do it. Am I telling you to not help people with money i am not saying that i think we will reap what we sow but at the same time i don't think any of us wants to be used financially meaning that that person may not really be interested in us but interested in what we are willing to give them I really hope this is making sense. Like why waste your time on someone who probably doesn't like you, probably doesn't love you, just looking for what you can give to them? Do you really want to waste your time on something like that? Look out for red flags. Am I saying everyone is perfect no am i telling you that we are going to do everything right all the time i am not saying that but there are some things we have to be cautious of for instance if you see like i know if you love someone you may give them the benefit of the doubt you may go against common sense but if you notice that a person lies too much, lies so much, I think that is a very huge red flag. Because the way I see it, if a person is willing to lie so much, what can you really trust of that person? I believe a person who lies so much, possibly, they can pretty much i would say do almost anything depending on the circumstance i guess if you see a person man or woman that plays the victim so much that 
manipulates you or tries to manipulate you so much. Not to say that we are perfect, but I am saying like a person that overdoes it. I believe that is a red flag and you may want to pass up that person, meaning leave that person alone and try someone else. Now, who knows if God told you to be with that manipulator, scammer, liar, deceiver. Okay. You know, you have to do what God says. But if God did not tell you to be with that person, leave that person alone. I think it comes down to, I believe with God, pretty much anything can work unless it is you that is doing something wrong. But you know, I think it comes down to how much patience do you really have? Are you willing to wait for that person to change in order to marry them? And I don't think that is a wrong thing. If you see a person that is really messed up and let's say you have interest in waiting for them to change, cool, do what you have to do. But I think many people may be getting older and they may not want to waste all of that time in waiting for a person to mature earthly wise and or spiritually. So I think a large red flag which I have explained earlier is about how many times they ask you for money, how many times they are getting into trouble. If you see that, you know, I don't want to give away too many secrets because, you know, some scammers may listen to this video, but if you see a person like this person is really, really interested in money when it concerns me. And if you catch on to that, you may have to ask yourself, are you willing to continue on in this relationship knowing that a person may be more interested in what you can do for them and not so much the relationship if you understand what i am saying and also what it you know whether it is a man or a woman what is that person doing for you okay you are giving this person money here and there here and there but what is that person doing for you like if it seems like that person isn't too interested now that person may do something for you that they benefit from do you understand what i am saying they may do something for you but it benefits them look for are they willing to do things for you that don't benefit them? Are they able, are they willing to reciprocate, if I am saying that word right? Are they willing to like, hey, this person is doing this and that for me, so I am going to do something for this person. If you see that they are not really interested in that, you may have to ask yourself, is this person really worthy of marriage? And I think in many cases, that person may not be, because I believe there are a lot of predators online for women and for men. Some people may have it. I believe some people, what word can I use? I believe some people are in survival mode. 
let's say you have been stranded on a remote island and let's say you haven't eaten in 10 days <laughs> i believe you may get in a survival mode so some people may be in that mode so what they may think of okay i don't care what i have to do i don't care if I have to hurt someone, I don't care if I have to be deceptive, manipulative, uh, whatever else to get my needs met. You don't want to, you may not want to be in a relationship with a person like that. Do you? Maybe, maybe God touched your heart and maybe God sent you to a person like that to help that person to change. I don't know. But if God did not, you may want to leave that person alone. I believe everyone online, I believe some people online are not safe to interact with. I hope this makes sense. You know, if a woman or man is always asking for money, always, 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 and if you don't give them the money, you notice that they start to have an attitude. You notice that they begin to get very angry. You notice they stop talking to you as much. So, <laughs> what does that mean? Do you still think that person was or is interested in you or interested in your money? I believe you already know the answer. Let me stop here and may God bless us.